And finally, NASA astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore were supposed to be back on Earth months ago. But a series of technical issues with Boeing Starliner spacecraft has kept them aboard the International Space Station far longer than expected. Apart from missing their families, the duo faced the challenges of exposure to micro radiations, declining bone density, and decreasing cognitive activity. Our final story provides the latest on their continuing ordeal. NASA astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore were set for a quick trip to space. But their mission turned into an unexpected eight-month adventure. In a recent interview from the International Space Station, or the ISS, the duo shared what it's like to live in space longer than planned. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's been quite an evolution over the last three months. Uh, we've uh, been involved from the beginning through all the processes of assessing our spacecraft, uh, Calypso, and um, it was uh, trying at times. It was, uh, there were some tough times all the way through. You certainly, as uh, the commander and the PLT of your spacecraft, you don't want to see it go off without you. The troubles for the duo began in June when five of the Starliner's 28 thrusters failed, stranding them 250 miles above Earth. Progress just about home. The spacecraft they were supposed to use to return home had other plans, leaving them orbiting the planet and adding months to their mission. But both Williams and Wilmore took it in their stride. Obviously, when you have uh, an issues like we've had, there's some changes that need to be made. We found some things that we just could not get comfortable with uh, putting us back in the Starliner when we had other options. There's many cases in the past where there have not been other options. We were very fortunate that we have the space station um, and that we had the option to stay and we had the option to come back a different way if that's what the data shows. While the daily lives of the NASA astronauts revolves around working out ways to get back home, the duo are also keeping their spirits high with focusing a lot on their fitness and even casting their vote in the upcoming U.S. presidential election. This is my happy place. I love being up here in space. It's just fun. You know, every day you, you do something that's work, quote unquote, you can do it upside down, you can do it sideways, <laughs> so it adds a little different perspective. And you know, about staying up here longer, one of the things I was sort of regretting about a short duration flight is I wasn't going to be able to share it with a lot of people. I sent down my request for a ballot today, as a matter of fact, uh, and they should get it to us in a couple of weeks. And absolutely, yes, uh, it's a very important uh, role that we all play as citizens is to uh, be included in those elections and NASA makes it very easy for us to do that. So we're excited about that opportunity. I think you're glad we're not with you anymore. <laughs> now, apart from casting the ballot, Sunita Williams is also set to celebrate her 59th birthday aboard the ISS on September 19th. This will be the second time the astronaut will celebrate her birthday in space. Meanwhile, back on Earth, SpaceX has emerged as a promising contender to bring Williams and Wilmore back home. Just recently, billionaire Jared Isaacman and his crew made headlines with their safe return from a five-day mission that pushed them higher into space than anyone has traveled since the Apollo days. Three out. The crew splashed down in the Gulf of Mexico, marking another win for SpaceX, which has become NASA's go-to company for reliable space travel. SpaceX's Dragon capsule is now scheduled to bring Wilmore and Williams back to Earth in February 2025, officially taking over the job from Boeing after the Starliner's troubles. Boeing, once the dominant player in space, has been struggling to get its Starliner program back on track. Their uncrewed test mission ended safely in New Mexico recently, but the thruster failures that plagued the spacecraft are still under investigation. Boeing has racked up over $1.6 billion in costs trying to fix the Starliner's issues. And with NASA leaning more on SpaceX, its future in space is unclear. But despite these hiccups, Williams and Wilmore remain upbeat. 
They're focused on the task at hand, shrugging off the uncertainty of their return.